The Global Trigger Tool was developed because we did not have good systems for measuring harm in hospitalized patients. There are a variety of things such as voluntary reporting, error systems, using coding from the medical record for billing to try and find these, and they all tend to woefully underestimate what's actually going on. And the first time that really came to light was with the Institute of Medicine report in 1999 to Air is Human, estimating that 98,000 people or more a year were having death from medical errors in hospitals. So we looked at how might we measure in a way that gives us valuable information, yet doesn't place a huge burden on staff. So the Global Trigger Tool is a way to look at a patient record, to identify if something unintended and harmful may have occurred as a result of the medical care that we're delivering and the way our systems are designed. And it's a little bit like an investigative tool, really, because we use triggers or what we would call clues. So that makes the review of the record faster. It would take a long time to sit and read a record from start to finish, especially if the patient had a long hospital stay. But using the trigger methodology, in less than 20 minutes, and the average is about 10, a nurse or a pharmacist or a respiratory therapist or other clinical person can go through a record and look to see, are there any clues in this record that maybe something happened that we didn't intend? And then when they find that clue, they look a little deeper at that section of the record to determine whether or not something happened. Sometimes the answer is yes, sometimes the answer is no. And if the answer is yes, then we give it a category as to how severe was the harm. The most severe harm, of course, would be death. Um, but less severe harm might be that it resulted in them having to stay in the hospital a little bit longer. And then that information is counted and aggregated and put into charts for leadership, uh, administrative leadership and clinical leadership to look at to see where do we need to concentrate our improvement efforts and are we making progress. Mm -hmm.